I'm going to talk about what an air assist is and I'm going to talk about it in relation to my XTOOL S1 here because this machine did not come with an air assist. So some lasers will come with one and some are a separate purchase. So I want to talk about what it is and why you would want one and I'm going to use this machine as my example. But this video applies to any laser that's on the market. First, let's talk about what it is and why you might want one. An air assist works by blowing high pressure air between the laser and the material. So you do need something additional to do this. Now, a lot of lasers like this Fluxador over here, it includes one inside of the laser when you purchase it. Others like the XTOOL S1, which I'm gonna use as my example, you have to purchase that air assist separately. So why should you purchase one or make sure it's included with the bundle that you purchase? There are a few reasons why you would want an air assist. The first and top for me is quality of cuts and engraving. I'm gonna show you how an air assist makes both your cuts and your engraving a much higher quality. No matter if you use the same settings with an air assist and without, I guarantee you will be able to tell a difference on my examples here. An air assist can also help with safety. I talk about laser safety quite a bit and it can also help because it's blowing on that area to prevent fires. It can help with efficiency, debris removal, if you have small little pieces that are coming off when you are cutting or engraving something, and even the cooling of the material so it doesn't warp as much. There are tons of benefits to an air assist itself. So we're gonna use the x S1 as our example, and I'm gonna show you the air assist for it, how you would add it, and make a no air assist and air assist little example project so you can see the differences. Now remember, your laser might already have an air assist installed inside of it, like you can't even see it from the outside, so be sure to check your manual or operating instructions or ask in the comment section below and I will look for you. Otherwise, you might look into purchasing an air assist for your machine after you see this. So let's take a look. This is an example of an air assist that sits separate from the laser. So yes, some air assists are included with the laser and a part of the laser itself. And this is an example of one from XTOOL that is separate from the laser. I'm going to use this on my XTOOL S1. Now this comes with a power cord as well as a cord to hook it up to the laser itself. So some sort of air cord is usually included if it's a separate piece. For this particular one, there is a dial with different modes and you can actually just set it to auto mode and let it automatically detect what it needs to do. For the setup on this, there is some packaging material that says remove on the bottom. This is also where your filter change will be. So we can just slide this over and lift it up to see the filter inside. And this one did come with one extra filter that you can change out as needed. Otherwise, we'll add the power cord to the back. Now this does mean that in this case where the air assist is separate, that I will need a two plugins to operate my laser, one for the laser and one for the air assist. And then also for these versions, you need to insert one end of the air hose into the back of the air assist. So then I made a similar project before I installed the air assist and after the air assist was installed. Before installing the air assist, I added a sheet of wood to my XTOOL S1 and then sent a file. This file is both engraving and cutting on the wood. After it was done, I removed that piece from the XTOOL S1 and then I connected the air assist itself to the XTOOL. Once you have the air assist set up, you will add that air hose to the back of the S1 and then inside of that filtered compartment, you'll also find a little wireless dongle and this allows the air assist to wirelessly communicate with the XTOOL S1. I added that dongle to the appropriate spot on the back of the machine. Then just plug the air assist up and I put the air assist on auto. This means that I have three plugins for my XTOOL S1 at this point. One for the machine itself, one for the air assist, and one for the separate air filter because I am not venting out a window. Then again, I added the wood to my machine and made a similar project with the air assist on. Once that's done, I'll remove that from the machine and now we can take a look at the differences. So here are my two pieces. So this is with no air assist and this is with the air assist on. The first thing you are going to notice is a lot of charring on the NOAA air assist version. So lots of discoloration around that cut edge. Whereas the air assist version, there is no discoloration. And this material did not have any masking on it either time. So without the air assist and with it, 
there was no masking on the material and you can see what a great job it does with the air assist on. I do also think that the engraving looks better on the air assist version. It is much more consistent across the entire thing and slightly darker than this version. It may just be some discoloration on the wood on this version, but this one definitely looks a ton better. So basically you get a higher quality from your laser when you have an air assist. So now that you've seen the results, I do feel like the results speak for themselves. The cuts as well as the engraving is much cleaner on the air assist version. And I personally always want my lasers to have an air assist, whether I have to order that separately or it's included. So it's a huge benefit to me when a laser has an air assist already installed. That way I don't have to do the steps I did in this video. I don't have to purchase an air assist and set it up and make sure it's connected and on and have three plugs to operate this x s one I would much rather have a laser that already has all of those things installed and hopefully one plug to operate. Now, the air filter always requires a second plug, so if I'm operating it without venting out a window, I always need two plugs with the laser I operate, but two plugs maximum, hopefully, if the air assist is installed. Now, if you've already purchased an x s one it's an amazing machine. And perhaps you're like, I wanna get these results out of it. Then be sure to pick up an air assist and install it, no matter what laser you have. So I will link to everything that I'm using in the description below this video, so head there to shop. And if you have any questions about air assist, drop down in the comment section, ask away. If you like this video and helped you, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, head on over to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. I have videos just like this one every single week, and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.